Hello, everyone. Welcome to Zoo Tycoon, Jake's Farm. So, despite that rather um, dry, uh, tasteless um, intro, um, I hope this series would not be like that. But um, here, uh, this is um, this is a zoo. I I don't know if it can be called a zoo. It's um, I'm going to be doing domesticated animals in this. Uh, in this, um, uh, themed zoo. I know I said, I know what I said in the past couple of videos about me not doing those kinds of videos anymore. Um, uh, well, I did say is that if I found a, a good idea that I can kind of stick to, I would stick to it. And, uh, I believe I did. Um, I don't know if anybody else did this. I'm pretty sure some of the other YouTubers have, like, um, uh, I, don't, I don't think Nick did it. Nick does uh, Nick does some pretty quality work. Um, I'm not I'm not really sure because um, I, I don't really look that far um, to praising people, but uh, I, I don't really look too far into um, other people's videos. Um, I should I should I definitely should, but uh, I, I unfortunately I don't um, because. Um, uh, a lot of the people that have been doing Zoo Tycoon have been doing Zoo Tycoon probably a lot longer than I have, and they have a lot of videos racked up, and it's hard to watch them all. But if I see one in the recommended tab, I I, I go for it because you know the no, normally the download I want to see the animal that they got. Um, that kind of gets my attention is if they got like a cool animal download, but like oh maybe I want that, maybe I can find a something for that. That's normally when I click on somebody else's video. Uh, not always. Sometimes I am. I, I do want to see what the person's got going on. So, anyway, this building right here, I change. Um, uh, this uh, this building in particular, I didn't really like how I did it. Um, uh, the red roof doesn't really remind me of a barn. Um, th this this is me thinking, oh, they'll stay inside there because they're fences, but, you know, I was wrong. But, <laughs> uh, the building sets that I have doesn't really warrant, like, a, a farm. Um, here I'm trying to look for a, a small fence that I can kind of cover up, but, um, later I, I figure out that I could just get these, um, these, uh, cool, uh, path high fences that are very very small are these yeah, this is the reload this is this I actually you didn't see this this was movie magic but I cut out the part where I went to the Zoo Tycoon round table and uh, downloaded <laughs> more mods to uh, work uh, with this here uh, this is gonna be the first mistake of the actual uh, for, for the actual zoo um, uh, the uh, download by Hendrix, these guys, the common fitter. I I I think I might have um, dyslexia because um, I don't know why what I thought it said, but I, I thought it was like common duck or something. Um, these are obviously not ducks. These are um, these are um, actual like uh, birds of prey that uh, not birds of prey. I don't know. I don't even know what it is. Maybe I'll I'll do a quick. Uh, Google search here. Um, ah. Weird angle for a... Uh, oh, my phone's making noise. Gotta throw my phone down by my feet so my computer doesn't talk to it. Um, common Eater. <coughs> That's my... Uh, common Eater is a large sea duck. Oh, so I was close. Um, not, not quite a duck, um, but... A duck, nonetheless. Uh, over the northern coast of Europe, North Af America, and eastern Siberia is where you'll find these guys. Uh, they're very common, as you can tell by their name. Um, and the male, uh, the female uh, eater, uh, common eater, looks almost identical to a regular duck. So that is my issue. So anyway, that is what happened there. So this is a duck pond. Um, as you can tell, it, it, this is really just the entrance, uh, more or less. This is just kind of like the, the park that you kind of start off with. Um, the placement of all these rocks and plants did lag out my computer quite a bit, 
So um, you're not going to see a steady 60 frames around here, more like 25 or so. And you can even see it, you know, if you look up on the top left-hand corner, you'll see I'm at 60 right now, but later you'll see it dip down to 25 whenever I'm around it. So, yeah, <laughs> not particularly 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 good um oh, there's a pond with an island uh near me so that's where i kind of got this idea it kind of reminds me of the rock hopper penguin exhibit but you know uh a little bit more uh lag intensive yeah we're at 34 at this point and then i realized okay these guys only eat things that are underwater so that kind of gets uh gets annoying and um yeah so i i am definitely gonna get rid of these guys because they're just they turn out to be quite the pain in the ass as you'll see later is that they just keep complaining and um that's not something i like to deal with in particular so <laughs> yeah so that's not there anymore in hindsight i probably could have just gotten rid of them and put uh made it all water instead because I'd probably be fine with that but um I'm getting rid of them anyway because they're not really domesticated animals here are me, here's me playing around some fences I, I, I ultimately go with white picket fences uh around because that's just kind of what I remember um in my endeavors in uh on Long Island I went to a, a farm called White Post Farms and I thought that was cool because uh White Post is um is you know a fence so i guess that's kind of the inspiration for this is these fences it was actually a really nice farm they had a giraffe um obviously it wasn't there permanently because they'd probably freeze on Long island but yeah <laughs> it was uh quite the sight i wasn't expecting to see a giraffe at a farm but um i don't know if they have like stuff like that everywhere um i mean considering that long island's kind of like a northern I know, I, I'm pretty sure that, um, I, I don't know if, like, southern states, they do, like, have, like, farms that you go to and, like, pet animals and stuff. I don't know if they do that, um, uh, because the farms there, I figure, are more for actual production of food. More, uh, the ones around here are not so much, but, I mean, they, the majority of their money comes from the uh, people coming in and seeing the animals. So, yeah. Uh, here... You see me placing these letters. I love these letters. They're really cool. And um, it's kind of going to be the second um, uh, entrance, I guess. I'll, I'll be getting rid of the, the entrance here, the other one. Uh, I'll definitely be fixing it in the final touch video, which should be at the end of the, all of this. So nothing too special here. Um, obviously, you know, we got the animals in. So here, I'm just going to continue on. I'm going to build a common area, I guess. Um, what would it be called? Um, maybe a marketplace. We're going to get more, uh, you know, historical, I guess. Uh, I start to... Um, so I, I downloaded a new new Place Anywhere uh, hack. that uh, Unfortunately, um, it kind of... I mean, it's better because scenery... Well, not nah, scenery normally was off grid. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, shelters, animal shelters, and stuff were off the grid, which is the thing that I liked. But um, unfortunately, buildings are not off the grid anymore. Uh, well, they, I mean, they were. They actually were still on a grid or something. I know there's a mod maybe that can take them off the grid, but uh, we always want everything off the grid if we want, uh, you know, it to look nice. But Instead of making like you know like a little place where you can go inside, uh, you can just walk up to the thing and like buy. Um, it's more of a uh, it's more of a um, place you walk inside and order food rather than you walk up to. So it's not that big of a change. It uh, might look a little bit better. Who knows? <clears throat> and uh, it's me. Uh, I haven't really picked. At this point, I haven't really picked, like, a, a sure, uh, you know, wood that I like. Um, later in the series, I do have, um, I did record a little, a couple of these ahead of time because 
I don't really have all the time to be playing the game, unfortunately. But I, you know, I'd love to play this game all the time, but I can't do it most of the time. So uh, I did record a couple of these in advance. I'm not finished with it at this point, but um, I'm getting there. So uh, we're going to put the letters in soon. Uh, this is me. I, I, I installed the Hendrix. Uh, well, not the Hendrix. I uh, install it off Hendrix. Uh, signature, but um, uh, the stable pack, I believe. Um, it added all these nice um, things. I, I delete those, by the way. Uh, it added all these nice things to build stables with. Um, I can't particular. I can't really figure it out, so I don't really uh, do it. I might figure it out eventually, like because uh, I plan on having horses in this. In this, so. Eventually, I hope when we have horses, I'll be able to figure it out. But for right now, I, I can I can't do it. But um, it's all it's it's kind of the idea of like everything being put together, like everything you know. It's modular, I believe, but it's not very modular. So that's the issue. So we're coming close to the end of the the. Uh, uh, little time lapse I got for you guys, and it'll launch you into a live commentary, and um, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I'm not really saying goodbye yet, but I mean, future me is saying goodbye, and you're gonna see past me, and uh, yeah, so take it away, future past me. Hello, everyone, this is uh, my farm. So anyway, um, let's just do the little walkthrough. So, what I did today is I started another theme zoo, except the zoo is more of a uh, farm that more than anything. Um, I made a little duck pond, except I realized these guys weren't ducks, so I always kind of saw them. I always saw them in the, like, the, uh, directory, maybe? I don't know, in the, in the, uh... In the, in the list, and they look like, um, they look like ducks, but they're not really ducks, so I think I might be replacing them. So, um, anyway, today we just kind of created the entrance, um, along with a walk-up pond and food place. I'm really loving these letters. The letters are really cool. Um, what else we got here? That's pretty much it. You know, we got this, uh, nice pond thing that I'm probably going to be changing if I find another duck that's actually a duck. And these guys are pretty annoying because the way I built it, things get pretty dirty pretty fast and um, the uh, zookeeper doesn't really do anything to fix it. So yes, that is um, that is the zoo so far. Next time uh, I, I got a bunch of stuff. Um, this is a donkey, except, you know, it's obviously not called that, but um, I thought it was close enough to a donkey. So I don't know if I'll make, be making an exhibit on that just yet, but it's going to be in here. Um, chicken as well, and I think I have pigs and other domestic animals that belong in a farm. Elder Five is really hungry. We're just gonna get rid of them for now. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna be replaced anyway. So, and they seem to be very temperamental or whatever. So, oh yeah, he got up there. <laughs> yeah, he got up here. He couldn't come back down. That sucks. So yeah, well, I'll definitely come back. This it also gives me a great bit of lag whenever I go there because of all the the uh, stuff. Uh, another thing to add, um, this is just, if you might notice, this is a small zoo. Um, I'm not really going to be fitting too much in it, so yeah. And the one thing I have to show every now and again is the map, because um, I don't do that a lot, yeah, or at all, really. So this is the this is the zoo so far. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can fit everything in, so we'll see. If not, you know, it'll be a short series. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.